everyone! Today we are gonna get a look inside Lacey Green's space. Lacey is one of my favorite people on YouTube. I have been watching her since before I was even making videos myself and she is a sex positive advocate on YouTube and always has been and I have found her videos to personally make a huge impact on my life, my sexual identity and her videos were a big part of my coming out process. Her videos helped me to be more comfortable with myself and with my sexuality. And I think that the content that she makes does the same for so many other people. And she really, really makes an impact on people's lives. And I am living proof of that. It's people like her who make the fact that I am sitting here alive and happy and proud of who I am possible. So I really just want to say thank you to Lacey, which I've already done in person privately with her. I really recommend that you check out her videos if you are not familiar with them. She just explains everything so directly and it's very easy to digest and wrap your head around. She makes educating yourself about sex very accessible and that's how it should be. So after all of that gushing, here we go into Lacey's space and I hope you enjoy it. P.S. Eileen just reminded me my hair is shorter in the video because we shot this a little while ago so that is why you may notice some difference in my hair length but we're still the same people just maybe with slightly different hair. <laughs> smells is scented pine cones. Do you know what those are? They yes. really smell like cinnamon. Yep. I actually hang a bag in my office and they hit the sun so the scent just sort of exudes throughout the room. And I don't know, something about cinnamon is really calming mm -hmm. to me. A lot of people associate it with baking and just being home. There's yeah. like a warmth to it. It's very earthy. It just really relaxes me. I like to have a nice cinnamony scent in my office to keep me like under control while getting work done. <laughs> I actually didn't know that putting the pine cones in the sun made their scent come out more. Yeah, so it's an oil. So, okay. you know, scented oils when you add heat. That makes sense. Yeah. I love the cinnamon scent too. I remember my mom having the pine cones specifically uh -huh. around the They're holiday okay. season. Yeah. But I love that you just have them because you like the scent. I just like them. Why not? Year round. Yeah. So, I have a general idea of what you have brought for touch. Oh, do um, you? But I haven't looked I haven't looked down to uh -huh. see exactly what it is. <laughs> so can you show us? Are you ready for this? I am ready. I'm so ready. Ta-da! It's a vibrator! Yeah! It, this vibrator has never been used, so you can touch it and it's awesome. not gonna be weird and gross. But this is made out of my favorite material for sex toys. It's silicone. Because it's so soft. Yeah. Like rub your hand on it. And they're easy to clean too. Yeah, and it's just amazing an amazing material all around. Yeah. The only downside is that you can't use it with silicone lube, which is also amazing. Yeah. So, I mean it looks like it could be used in a variety of different ways here. That yeah, that vibrator is, is it um, charged. It might yeah, I think it is. Uh -huh. There you go. Oh yeah. Oh, and there's different pulses. Yeah, too. it's sort of like a more modern take on a rabbit vibrator, yeah. which is a type of vibrator that um, stimulates the clitoris as yeah. well as um, the internal and external clitoris. I'm trying to get it to turn off. It's okay, it's just gonna vibrate forever now. Ingrid tries to try. turn off a vibrator. <laughs> this is a very complicated device, so don't feel bad. There we go. <laughs> I also prefer silicone vibrators yeah. too. This looks like a strapless strap-on that I really love because it can be used in so many different ways. That sounds really exciting. I don't have one of those. Oh my gosh, I'll have to show you and maybe this can be another <laughs> video. But the it is- strapless strap-on Yeah, video. it's a silicone toy and it allows, I think, especially same-sex couples to experience pleasure at the same time face-to-face. Yeah, -face. mutual stuff. <laughs> sex toys are awesome. I know. Especially silicone. 
silicone one. I know, <laughs> I'm very into the silicone. Yes, first time a vibrator has ever been shown on my channel. Oh my God, that makes me so happy. I know, probably <laughs> not the last, just Let saying. this be the beginning of a trend. <laughs> yes. <laughs> what do you have for our little ears today? My favorite sound is the piano. Oh, do you play? Yeah. Oh my gosh. Yeah, I love the piano. I played it for about 10 years, and then I went to college, and I stopped playing as much, but since I moved to LA, I got myself a piano, oh my God. and I've been practicing, and it's just really calming and lovely, and I feel like the possibilities are sort of limitless in what you can do with your hands. Yeah. It's a little double on time for the vibrate. Uh -huh. <laughs> Also, my mom plays piano, and she's a piano teacher, so it reminds me of my mom, too. That's awesome. You know, I didn't have any sort of formalized training until much later. I just kind of plinked around yeah. and wrote my own songs. Oh, I love that. I, I actually found this binder a few weeks ago of all the songs I wrote when I was a teenager. Were there lyrics? <laughs> there were lyrics! Oh, yes! <laughs> <laughs> so embarrassing, though. It's like really moody. It's of angsty. course. It's oh, like, oh, God. my life's gonna end. No, it was, it's fantastic. I'm so glad I found those Oh, papers. my God, that is amazing. When I was looking over it, it occurred to me, you know, being a teenager is the first time you experience a lot of feelings, so it's very intense. And I think that the piano and music and writing music gave me an outlet to put it in a positive place and to express myself. Yeah. I, I mean, it doesn't have to be like a serious thing. Yeah. I think even just plinking around, it's good. Yeah. It's very therapeutic. I can play Twinkle Twinkle Little Star. We Ooh. already had a little lamp. Ooh. With one hand, I know where middle C is. That's all. You, so you basically play. <laughs> basically been playing. I'm okay. basically a professional. <laughs> Done. So am I gonna be eating something or are you gonna be describing something to me? Um, it would be drinking something. Oh, drinking. And I can offer it to you if you would like. I would love some. Are you sure? I mean, I don't know what it is. You're just but very I'm, adventurous. Yeah. It doesn't really matter. Yeah, I'll try anything. I won't give you anything weird. Okay. It's just tea. Okay, great. <laughs> I love tea. Me too. Oh my I gosh. really love tea. It's an integral part of my daily routine. Even when I'm traveling a bunch or wherever I'm at, I need to start my day with tea. And so what's your favorite kind? I'm not sure what the official name is, but there's this black tea that is infused with vanilla. It's yeah. got all, all the bold flavor of black tea with just this hint of something like lovely and I don't know, it's really nice. I feel like that really fits in with the scent atmosphere that we have <laughs> yes. going on with like the cinnamon and the warm scent. I'm just a warm, I'm seeking warmth yeah. everywhere. Yeah, and it although translates I, into what you're drinking too. Yeah, well, although I usually drink iced tea. Okay, so that's been my inner homage so. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> Are you a coffee every day person or espresso every day? Um, almost. And I tend to drink a half of it because if I go more than that, then it just affects me in a really bad way. <laughs> I just want the little like perk and then I want to walk away from it because anything more than that makes me feel like I'm actually losing my mind. <laughs> I have a healthy relationship with caffeine. Sight is the most interesting to me because it can be anything and I never know what to expect with sight. So what do you have for us? I think one of my favorite things to look at is this comic that I have in my room that's printed on a piece of wood. Um, and it is a comic that means a lot to me. It's funny, but it also has a life lesson embedded. I'll show it to you. Okay. But it's about relationships and how um, people grow and people change and sometimes it doesn't happen when or how you expect, but that, that change is beautiful and it's a part of life. Yeah. And that's something that was hard for me to accept and it's just sort of a humorous reminder to embrace it, to accept it, and keep moving. Yeah, I love that. I think that, you know, change is something that can be really beautiful, but it's also really scary. It's scary. And I'm better at it now than I was before, yeah. but it's a process. Yeah. Life is a process, a continual unfolding. And I love that you have that in your bedroom too, is a reminder when you're waking up and going to bed, it's yes. always right there. Yeah, and it's super, it's cute too. Yeah. So it's like, it's not too heavy, it's just a good, Good reminder, good thing to keep around and keep in mind. So that is going to be it for today. Thank you so much, Lacey, oh, for letting me and all of you out there into your wonderful space. Yeah, of course. I'm happy to have you here. This has been one of my favorite episodes of this series there that you go. I have done. Oh. I'm so happy you're here. Yeah. This is like my happy little space, my cave. I know, and it and is. I love having wonderful people in it. It's truly is reflective of, I think, who you are and just the energy that you put out into the world. 
So if you want more of Lacey's energy, make sure you go and subscribe to her channel. We did a video over there talking about lots of gay things. Uh-huh. And it was so fun. Yeah. yeah. That was a really fun video. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm gonna have that link down below. And we also had Lacey on the Ladies Who Lunch podcast where we talked about orgasms. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. we're just having a grand old time. So many things. All my favorite things. I know. Up, orgasms, my house. I know. <laughs> so make sure you guys check out all of those things. Everything that you need will be linked down below. And I'll see you guys next time. Thank you for watching. Bye. Bye.